Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of Back for part 2 of the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. And we have got four epic matches here, so without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is Aloatrox going up against Sejuangosaurus. Okay then, in the red corner, we have the Atrox. Will it do better than its Fragilus counterpart? Or will it share the Fragilus' fate in getting knocked out? Well, in theory, the Atrox should win this matchup because of who he's going up against, but it's because of who he's going up against is why this match could be an interesting one, because in the blue corner, we have the one, the only, the Purple Predator, the Sejuangosaurus, the winner of the Wicked Wind Tournament. It defeated, I believe it might, I think it did defeat Allo Atrox in the Wind Tournament. I know it defeated Megaraptor. And I think it defeated Indosuchus. Well, put it this way. This Sejuangosaurus is a beast. Oh, that's a tie. Although, I will say, it doesn't have the same moveset it did then. However, it does open up with a crit. And it's a biting win. Uh-oh, here comes the lag. Shmeddy lag. Oh, I did some damage to the Atrox. A strong start from the Sege. Ooh, a very strong start. Can the Sejuangosaurus do it again? Oh, if Sejuangosaurus wins this tournament, I'm going to be so amazed. It's going to be so amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, well, he's got the, the 1-0 lead. Aloatrox going down. And it's a 1-0 lead for the Purple Pest. Right, on to round two. Right, round two. Can the Atrox turn this around? Or will Sejuangosaurus pull off yet another shock? Let's be honest, this is not a shock at this point, is it? I mean, we're used to seeing it win. Ooh, but it's the Atrox getting the first hit this time. Of course, all its power is in the crit, so a paper and a scissors don't really do much for it. Up the tie. There is the move breaker there from the Atrox, nullifying that paper move. Ooh. Well, this is a much better showing from Atrox. Sejuangosaurus. Yep, they got a hit. And he's not gonna get a hit. Because this biting win is going to take him out. Allosaurus Atrox, even in the score. Ooh, looked a bit blurry. Huh. But anyway, Allo Atrox evening things up. So you know what that means. It's going to come down to this next round. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena this time round. Well, can Allo Atrox carry on its momentum into this round? Oh, will the Sejuangosaurus put a stop to that momentum? Yes, yes, we know it's a mirror match. <laughs> I'm eager to get on with this match with the Sejuangosaurus getting the first hit this time. And it's Dino Yeetich. You swing me right around, baby. I wanted it to go for longer. Oh dear, not good for the Atrox, but very good for Seji. Cutting through the Atrox there. Oh, we got this true feel rush as well. Can Allo Atrox come back from this? Or will the Seji one pull it? Pull this win out of the back. Sounded much better in my head. Oh, it's not! Sejuangosaurus is gonna get the job done with another Dino Yeetage. And he will also yeet the Allo Atrox out of the tournament. Well, the Purple Pest does it again. Wow, this guy's making a reputation for himself. Constantly winning. 
Right, yo then. Let's get on with our next matchup of this session. Well, well, well. In the red corner, we have got the Asian Allosaur, the Sign Raptor. Don't see too much of this guy, to be honest. Will it make an impact in this tournament? It could, it could. Could be one of those dinosaurs that goes far. But it's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, yes, is another all-wind clash. We have Pianitskisaurus, and this little, and this little predator is not to be underestimated. One of the strongest, weakest dinosaurs in this game, ironically. Can it go far in this tournament? It was quite the disappointment in the win tournament. I'm sure you'll look to make up for it here. And yes, if you're a fan of lore, then you're going to love this video. And yes, this guy's got Smooth Breaker as well. As you can see there, nullifying the Pianitskisaurus' moves. And getting the opening crit. Ooh, a decent amount of damage as well. And the Jet Shuriken. A strong start from the Sign Raptor. Oh, look at this Pianitskisaurus. It's gone all ragdoll. Ooh, the Pianiskisaurus gets his first hit of the match. Oh, hang on, button spam time, because it's a power drain. Gonna shock the way to life. Wow, look at that. Oh, we got, what have we got? It's a Cyclone. Ooh, that will definitely help it survive. The odds are in its favour now to get the next hit. And it does get the next hit because of the Cyclone. So there, the Cyclone allowing the Pianitskisaurus to get off a power drain. Turning this around quickly, this little bugger, and is in fact in the lead. Although, can you really say he's in the lead at this point? Because if Sign Raptor gets a hit, it's going to die anyway. You can't really say that. Oop, we got a tie. Okay, ties do help it though. Another tie. Oh, the Sign Raptor's gone. Is it revival type? I forgot. Nope, it's not. I do have a few revi revival types in this tournament. And Sign Raptor is not one of them. And it's Pianitskisaurus coming behind to win round one. Well, can he get the job done in round two? Right, round two. Can the Sign Raptor turn this around? Or will Pianitskisaurus get the job done? And yes, we change to the ultimate waifu of this franchise. Because technically she did have one. A Pianitskisaurus, that is. And I'm getting sick of Laura. <laughs> uh, it's because it's, it's all wind dinosaurs in this tournament. They're all Jurassic dinosaurs. Oh, the tie. Ooh, nullifying that Cyclone. That could come in handy. Another tie. Another tie. Will one of these guys get a hit? The answer is yes, and it's Pianitskisaurus landing a crucial crit. That is crucial because that means Pianitskisaurus needs one more hit to win the match. Ooh, Sign Raptor striking back though, getting a crit. Ooh, and a Jet Shuriken. This might be lethal. Has Sign Raptor saved himself? Oh, he has! I had a feeling it might be lethal, and it turned out to be. Sign Raptor there. Well, that was a crucial crit. He got the crit and the Jet Shuriken to level the score. So you know what that means? It all comes down to this next round. Well, it all comes down to this. Sign Raptor saving himself from going out of the tournament there with that crit last round. Pianitsky. I would say Pianitsky Source. I think Pianitsky Source is going to win. I feel like it's just been the slightly stronger of the two. Is it Ty? <laughs> We're gonna start with Ty spam again. Oh, maybe not. The Sign Raptor gets off the death grind. Doosh. Do, do, doosh. The Pianitskisaurus technically getting a taste of his own medicine now. Another tie. 
Sign Raptor in the lead. Can he win this? Ooh, he might have just won it. If this death, if the Jet Shuriken activates, I think Sign Raptor is gonna is won it. Yes, let the Death Grind play out. Oh, he gets it! He gets it. Okay, yeah, that's game. That is game over for Piantnitsky Swords. And wow, Sign Raptor doing really good there. Getting off the death grind, finally getting some momentum in the match, and getting the job done. And Pianitsky saw us again. Disappointing. Right, let's move on to our third matchup of this session. Right, in the red corner, we got the um, pain in the ass, I should say, the Kamara Swords. Pain in the ass because when I did the original roster, I forgot to add it. And it completely threw a spanner in the works. So, as punishment, I hope it gets his, I hope it gets an absolute beating in this match. And the dinosaur that could do the beating is the, not the Creosaurus, the Santorurus. A dinosaur we pops up now and then in a few um, tournament teams. A few people use it in my tournament. Will it do well in this tournament, though? I'm sure the, the, the Santorurus is kind of a fan favourite of a few. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, he gets the first hit. Good start there. Wonder why people like it. Like, I don't think it's that amazing. But people seem to like it. Oh, that's not good though. That's a crit from the camera. A camera's crit packs a punch. And yet again, it is Dino Yeetage time. All oh, our damage and the Tupu dive as well. Not good for the Desantorurus there, but very good for the can. Tight. Ties will suit the Desantorurus because it is tight. tight. But that's going to suit the camera, and that is a 1 0 lead for the camera. Whoosh, 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 and the overkill sees with a tupu dive. Well, that's a 1 0 lead for Kamarasaurus there. I would say a Jurassic Classic, actually. Right? It's one of the. If you ask 100 people to name dinosaurs that lived in the Jurassic period, most people would say Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, Apatosaurus, Ceratosaurus. I think Kama would come up as well. But anyway, let's move on to round two. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena again. Seeing this one, seeing this arena quite, quite a lot in this video. I wonder if it's because I'm using Alpha Gang characters. May maybe using Alpha Gang characters increases the likelihood of the Alpha Arena spawning. Hmm. Interesting theory. Oh, oh, that's not a good start for the Centaurus. It's the camera getting the opening hit with yet another Tupu Dive to come. Although, as I said earlier, all its power is in the crap. Go on, the Desandra Ress, you can do it. Or maybe not. Okay, that is. I know I said that the thing's power is in the crit, but it's Futaba Cannon and it's going to do a decent amount of damage. And a Tupu Dive as well. This might, might be lethal. Well, no, it survived. Only just, though. But tell you what, that was close. Come on, the cr mm -hmm. The Santa Rose. You can do it. <laughs> okay, no, you're dead. Oh, bless it. It got slaughtered. And it is a comfortable win for Kamarasaurus. Oh, well, sucks to be a Santa Rose, doesn't it? Right, let's move on to our final match of this session, shall we? Right, in the red corner, we have the Afrovenator. One of my favourite wind dinosaurs in this entire game. I, do, I just like it, okay? I like it. Will it do well in this tournament? Well, it's, it's got a tornado toss. It could do well, it could do well. Could be one to watch. The bronzes usually are, but in the blue corner... We have the champion of the Earthshakers tournament. We have Armatus. 
Will Armatus win? be the first dinosaur to win two tournaments? But it's got a chance. It's got the it's got the know-how. It's got the know-how. <laughs> Let's just say that. This is going to be an... I think Armatus might win this matchup, but I think it's going to be a close one. Just giving Armatus a kiss of death there. And uh, right on cue, a Frovenator gets the first hit. Although, like Kama in the other matchup, all of a Frovenator's power is in the crit. It's got some elemental power usage there. That'll come in handy. Increase the damage of that tornado toss. Oops, <laughs> I opened OBS. And well, as I opened OBS, it was a Frovenator getting the next hit. <laughs> Oops, it easy. No, I've never done that before, just click off the thing. Oh, well, um, this is a very quick match for a Frovenator, isn't it? Armatus, well, not even putting up a fight, let's be honest. And yes, this Afrovenator is rock rock type, so the moves this next attack will be stronger. Not that he needed it, and not that he was getting a hit. Armatus finally getting a hit. The pointless barrier there. And yet, yeah, there it is. And the Tupu Dive will make sure that the Armatus does not survive. And it didn't survive anyway. Poosh! And it is a 1-0 lead for a Frovenator. Hmm, maybe a Frovenator will win this match, but let's not count Armatus out yet. He didn't get to win the Earthshaker tournament without knowing a few tricks. Right then, will this be the winning round for a Frovenator? Or will Armatus actually get going in this match? Okay, rock. And a rock, we start with a tongue. Oh, that's another tie. Armatus can't afford to get hit by that crit. It will do a lot of damage. Ooh, but Armatus getting a crit of his own. And a galley rush to come as well. Will he get off Earth Barrier? Back at just what Armatus needs to get back in this contest. Oh, nope, no Earth Barrier. That's a tie, and yes, I realise I clicked Rock instead, but it was a tie anyway, so it didn't matter. Another tie. Can Armatus even things up here? The answer to that is yes. Armatus leveling things up, not done yet. So you know what that means. Yet again, it comes down to this next round. Ooh, we're on a beach. Because life's a beach. Well, it all comes down to this. Who has enough gas left in the tank to get the job done and advance to the last 16 rounds? Will it be a Frovenator or will it be Armatus? Ooh, a Frovenator getting the first hit there. I found some form here for opening it and landing, and landing the poison. Excuse me. Okay, yes, Armatus definitely has the momentum now. Get off a mole attack, a galley rush to come. Will he get, if he gets off Earth Barrier, then I think that will do it. Because then a Frovenator will probably need three hits to win the match, whereas Armatus will only need one. And yet, there it is. There's the Earth Barrier coming in. Armatus has well, it's really turned this... Actually, I think a tie will do it now, because of the poison. So, yeah. Unless a Frovenator gets, like, three crits in a row, Armatus is going to win. And yet, there's a tie. And Armatus gets the job done in the end. Coming from behind to knock out the Afrovenator. Right, we'll have a look at our matchups for the last 16 round and end the session. Well, there's two more matchups for the last 16 to look forward to. 
we have the Purple Pest, the Sejuangosaurus, going up against Sinraptor. And then we have the Kamarasaurus going up against Armatur. Oh, I forgot to do I forgot to do the actual lines. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. But anyway, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, ding the bell. And who's your favourite in this tournament? Until part three, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.